Boshin War. Tokugawa Shogunate versus the Imperial Army. The Aizu Domain may have been weak, but they still trained all the boys in the way of samurai for the final battle. The White Tiger Corps, made completely of teenagers, was sent on their first mission, ambush an imperial camp. Falcon Punch! They were successful, but 20 of them were forced to escape from Imperial soldiers through a tunnel. The 20 Byakotai ended up on Mount Iimori where they saw the town of Wakamatsu on fire. Thinking that they had failed and the Imperial Army had won, the 20 boys decided to commit suicide, but one survived. Not long after, on September 22nd, the Aizu Domain surrendered. The Imperial Army took control of the Aizu Domain and ruled with an iron fist. After several years, the people of Aizu Domain were given permission to build a memorial and bury the bodies of the Byakotai. The legend of the Byakotai relates to the last samurai and the warrior spirit of their stories. The domain of Aizu and the samurai in the movie both fought for what they believed was right, even against the odds. And sadly, the emperor whom they served was the supposed commander-in-chief of the armies that would destroy them. And in the face of despair, the Byako Tai and Katsumoto and the Last Samurai commit seppuku, citing that they would choose to die in honor. The White Tiger itself is a figure in Chinese astrology. The Byako Tai drew their name from this mythological feature, which represents the strength of soldiers and the process of seeking personal truth. This concept is key to the Byako Tai and drove them to their selfless suicide. This ferocity and personal truth is characteristic of the American Captain Algren in the movie. <laughs>